We're going to start things off by closing the back of the bag, and you'll need three of our components for that. You'll need our, our back panel, which I think was component number one. Uh, you'll need component number three, which should be the part of the wings. Uh, and you'll need whatever component this wound up being, uh, the, the inside hydration sleeve. So the first thing I want you to do is take your back panel, component number one. We're going to grab that inside hydration sleeve that we created with the stretch security pocket. Just a quick word here, whatever this, this seam right here, However that naturally lays, go ahead and sew it down in that direction. So if it's naturally laying kind of this, in this direction, that's where we want to stitch it. You don't want to stitch like this, where one is facing this way and the other is facing this way. It'll cause a, uh, cause a strange bump in the center. So yeah, stitch it straight like that. Make sure you're placing this panel in the right direction. Remember, the accent color goes to the bottom of the bag. The base color goes to the top of the bag. This is important. You don't want to do it this way, because what will happen is none of your guides will match properly, and then it will be very hard to get things to line up. So, something to note as, uh, as we're moving forward. This will create our support system. So it's where we're going to slide our plastic and foam to make it comfortable to carry. But in order to do that, we're going to basically stitch a U shape. So down one side, across the bottom, down the other side, uh, and that'll create a nice sleeve that we can slide our foam into. Uh, the best way to do this is to start with our corners, line those up like that, and then we're going to just stitch down the side like here and stop. And then flip it over, start in this corner, stitch down the side and stop and then stitch across the bottom right there. It seems to be the easiest way to do it so that we make sure our sides are nice and straight uh, since the last thing we want to do is stitch down, stitch here, and wind up with a crooked side. So, yeah, let's do that. doesn't matter which side you start out with. The most important thing is to use a quarter inch seam allowance. And to reiterate, backstitching locks in that, that stitch line. We do it multiple times all throughout this project. Keep that backpack nice and sturdy no matter where you are. Going to the other side, corner to corner. stitch across the bottom here. All right, and the wings, you can see this is the bottom of the bag, they're going to create an X just like that. There should be two notches about an inch and three-eighths off the bottom. One here, and it looks like one is here. And those are the notches to help us place those wings properly. So the bottom of the wing is going to match the bottom of that guide. And we're going to just stitch it down the side there following that quarter-inch seam allowance. Okay, 
Tax that on the other side. Okay. Now that that is finished, go ahead and grab your box. You can see my box. I stuck all the components that we finished, keeping them organized. Um, reach in there and see if you can find your last few pieces of webbing. There should be a couple that are seven inches long and one that's about three and a half inches long or three inches long. Grab one of those that's seven inches long. This is our grab handle. And the grab handle goes on the side of the bag right here. There's a guide cut here and a guide cut here next to that center notch. What we're gonna do is take that grab handle, stitch it down the side right there, keeping it in line so it's the same level. We're going to stitch it on the other side of the, of the guide right there, just like that. And we're going to pre-stitch this so it's easier to close. It's always why we're pre-stitching. That's, that's basically the idea here is the more we can pre-stitch, the easier it's going to be to close so that we don't have to try to slip these in there as we're going. Start in the center of your web. Use a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, that's sewn right there. Here's the other notch right there, or the other guide cut. Gotta place it just like that, and stitch there. So we're doing the outsides of the cuts. There's our grab handle. This is the side that's going to be the zipper access point, so this grab handle is specifically for that. And that is the back panel finished. In the next lesson, we're going to be closing the front of the bag, uh, which is always nice to do. It, it always looks real cool. So, great job on this. Let's move on to the next lesson.